Hey everybody, it's Ricardo, and I am standing here with Alex Noisy from Gaijin Games, who is showing off their brand new Bit Trip Runner here at GDC. This is now your fourth entry in the Bit Trip series. Talk to us about the success the series has had, because everybody seems to really be into these games. Well, thank you very much. Um, the the success that we've had is very. I don't know, it's very humbling, really. Uh, these are just small little games um, that actually do have a pretty big message behind them. I'm not going to give it away, really, because I like, I like the exploration that the fans are having about what, what is the lore, what is the story. Um, and uh, we're just thrilled that we have such a vocal and passionate fan base. And I'm, I'm glad that these games that, that look as, um, as stylized as they do are touching so many people. Yeah, we're on game four of six, and we're still charging ahead, you know? So talk to us about the way the series has evolved, because you started with one type of kind of re of classic game plan. Every entry has done that. So walk us through and tell us how we got to platforming. Basically, what it comes down to is sort of reflecting stages in human development um, through gameplay, through art, through music, and that's where you had beat, core, and void. Those were stages in development that were a little bit more... Uh, esoteric and, and, and less tangible, right? And now that Commander Video has mastered uh, all of these stages of growth, from the ethereal to the corporeal, he is now ready to take the world on by storm. And so this is the first game where you play as a literal form of Commander Video. And he's, he's running, he won't take no for an answer, and he's barging it through life. Retro games are always kind of a safe fallback, but you guys haven't just done a straight rip of retro games. There's, there's a lot going on here. Can you talk to us about the sensibilities that kind of have informed the series? If you think of retro games or, or just retro as a, as a genre or phenomenon, um, we wanted to take that idea of retro, but build build it with the tools of today. What is retro really? It's sort of an aesthetic, and we wanted to realize that aesthetic in a way that people will be drawn to today. So if we had just done straight up 2D, arguably crusty graphics, you know, I don't think that it would really speak to people in the same way. So these games are entirely in 3D, everything. The Bit Trip series is a remake of some sleeper hit old Atari 2600 game that never was. That's kind of the way that we think about it. Now, the other thing that has been a huge part of the game's appeal has been the music. So talk to us about the music behind all these games and for fans of it that maybe have missed out where they can pick them up. Rhythm is a big part of life. So as we're following this character, as he grows from nothing to something, we wanted to address that part of life as well as all of the other sort of more tangible parts of life. And so that's why these games are rhythm music games. And they're also rhythm music games because I'm a huge fan of the rhythm music genre. If people do like the music, um, they can buy it on uh, CD Baby or iTunes. The Bit Trip Beat soundtrack is available right now and the Bit Trip Core one should be coming out soon. And we will be releasing all of them. Very cool. So how big is this game? We've noticed that it's kind of broken up into three different areas as Commander Video explores the world. Um, size and difficulty hit us because we know what to expect. As we just saw, these ain't easy. Right. The Bit Trip games are always challenging, um, and this game is much bigger than all of the other Bit Trip games. There are 70 levels um, to play through. Some of them are retro challenges, sort of bonus levels. Some of them are the main levels, like what you're seeing here. Um, you know, but I think that it's on par overall. It's sort of like a natural progression from the last game to this game. Um, and the challenges are there as well, although I do believe that this game is going to speak to a new audience in, in people who love platformers as well. There is something very primal about just jumping up, but you know, there's a lot more to this game than that. There's a couple new moves that you get, because this isn't just jumping. I mean, we're seeing that now, but there's a lot to it. So talk to us about how Commander Video is actually going to evolve over the course of a couple levels. You start with only being able to jump, and as you learn and master these moves, you unlock new moves, like Kung Fu Kick, sliding, super jumping, or springing, as we call it. Um, and then there's another secret move. It's not really secret, but it's pretty cool. I don't want to spoil it for the fans. Uh, you get that in a later level. Very nice. All right, well, I guess the most important question to ask you right now is when can we get our hands on this? We're thinking it's going to be summer-ish, so very soon. All right, there you go. That is your first look at Bit Trip Runner. Do summer-ish. We will be tracking the game and let you know exactly when it's coming out as soon as we can.